the orchestra is telling um, a story of the African instruments themselves, but also taking it within the time that we're in now, which is the 20th century. So it's, 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 it's actually telling the story of the instruments and of that time of the instruments and also speaking out through the voice of the 21st century. It's very, very exciting, the mix of traditional and brass instruments. Well, I like that. I mean, personally, me as an artistic director, that's really what I've been working towards with the orchestra, is that we have this fusion, is that we use brass instruments, which are really very modern, in a very contemporary South African jazzy way. And then what I also love is to contrapunt the kudu horns, which are so, so ancient and archaic and traditional with the brass. I love them. Well, I think the directors and, and myself, maybe included, would be um, trying to, to, to show people what, what sound these uh, instruments can be and also the appreciation of these instruments and showing people where we actually come from, especially African people, and then show them that where we come from can actually tell where we are right now. So as the instruments play, the, as we're playing ancient instruments or indigenous instruments, we're also producing sound which is part of the 21st century sound. Certainly I think they're fresh, they are unique. I don't know of another sound like this in South Africa. I could be correct, but I don't know of another sound. And that's it, I think that's what it is, their uniqueness. You know, when you tell people it's, oh, they're playing marimbas, people are sort of tired, oh, not another marimba band. But here, they do play marimbas and they're very skilled at playing them and the sound is different and they combine it with brass instruments and different sounds and play it in a very, very unique way. And I think that's what's so, um, that's their real selling point. It is so satisfying. Playing on this stage with this orchestra is very satisfying in the sense that even when you're angry, when you get on stage and the music starts playing, you get out of the mood of anger, you get out of the mood of, of, of trauma, you get out of the mood of worries, you, you go back into a place where I could say like heaven maybe in some way. We want to avoid stereotypes. And when we were designing the costumes, well, not me, the costume designer, I said, do something different. Because you talk of an African indigenous orchestra and everyone expects them to come, in, to come out wearing traditional dress. And why? You know, simply why? When you see them, you think, well, what is this? This is kind of American, what is it, American, South African? It's a 50s look, but it's quite modern. And uh, it's something that immediately signals to you, this is not going to be yet another marimba band. This is not going to be yet another African band. It's going to be something different and fresh. I think people are overseas and even in South Africa are surprised because they, they're just not expecting what they're hearing and very interested because I do think the music is interesting and very contemporary in some instances. <laughs>
actually telling a story of South African music and instruments. So we're telling stories as the ambassadors of South Africa in this industry. I mean, they can do your normal sort of African rhythms and drumming. They can do that with ease. And they can do these interesting contemporary compositions. Well, I think, you know, one always has to have a vision and a dream and strive towards that dream. I'd like to see that all these years of training with these young musicians have enabled them to earn a living, to create work for themselves, and to be in work in a country which has such a high unemployment rate. That's the first thing. And just to keep working and striving and promoting them. And let's see where it goes. But the dream is, of course, that they will reach the top. Thank you.